This is the Nonprofit Spotlight Show with we are here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show, and I am Janice Murray. Good morning. We're here by way of KHTS Radio on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. I am so excited because it's been a full year or so since I have had this amazing group on. We have Jasmine Foster, who is the Director of Community Relations for College of the Canyons, and Will Murphy, who is the manager ticketing and patron services for the Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center. Good morning, good afternoon. What is it, you guys? Thank you for having us back. Glad to have you guys. Exciting stuff going on, and we're going to talk about it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, I know that the PAC, that is the Performing Arts Center, already has had some amazing shows take place, like Rick Springfield, David Spade, can you tell me a little bit about those? Yeah, how they, I mean, how they turn out? I mean, they were fantastic. I mean, obviously, we had we had such a great response from the community here in Santa Clarita. Um, you know, the vast majority of our tickets are bought by by folks right here in town. So sure. it's great to have these stars that you've heard of and you know, you know, Rick Springfield, everyone knows, you know, Jesse's girl. girl. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that dates us, but okay. Yeah, well, exactly. But I, everyone knows it. Who didn't love Exactly. Him? You know, so he was here and it was. And a, he's still a heartthrob. <laughs> he, there were, there were a lot of people that were excited that he was here. Let's just leave it at that. But you sure. know, it, it was really a fun show. And then, um, you know, followed that up with, with David Spade and, and, and I mean, he's an icon and comedy icon. He's got his own TV show now mm-hmm. and, and he's just, just, it was it was just a ton of fun and everyone had a had a really really good time and, and we're looking forward to to kind of the, the the remaining exciting shows in our season so well I know that you've got some exciting stuff coming up and I heard that for some shows you guys do like the pre-show dinner events and I was told that David Spade actually showed up to your most recent one is that true he was amazing he was so chill and relaxed, and he came in. I, we didn't tell the people that bought dinner tickets because oh, sometimes, fun. you know, they, they could change their mind. They could be running late. Things could happen with the show. So I didn't want to tell them. Sure. But we had 55 people for dinner, and we did it in the dance studio. Oh, nice. And it was really amazing. And, you and know, that wasn't part of his contract. He wasn't pressured to do that. He, he wasn't chose. pressured to do it. We ask them when they arrive. Sometimes cool. we try to put it in the contract, but you know, it's a little yeah. iffy. Yeah. But he was couldn't have been more gracious and oh. he he really spent time. He walked in, he said, "So, what do you want me to do here?" I said, "You need to take pictures. These are your fans." You do you. And he literally <laughs> went around to every table and took pictures with them, How shook special. hands. And I actually had to scoot him out of the room to get him ready on stage. <laughs> Fortunately, he had an opening act with him, so we oh, had good. a little more time. Oh, good. Now, does that um, indicate that if you do the pre-show dinner that there's a little extra cost to the ticket? or There is. Will, do you want well, to speak to yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, you know, the first thing is that we're, like Jasmine mentioned, we're never sure that the artist is going to be able to do it. They're, you know, like any like any artist, they, they're all different and they all want – things to go the way that they need him to go in Absolutely. order to prepare for, for their comfort. show. Yeah. Sure. So, so we never really are sure until they get there, what, what the plan is going to be with that. But the extra cost, I mean, it's, it's really a small, it's a small cost. It, it, you know, for a full dinner, they have, they have cocktails included with it. Um, like, you know, be, wine and, and it's mostly wine as well. And it just, it's, it's a really, really nice time. It's very laid back and, and Jasmine does a great job with it. She puts them all on and does She's all the, the legwork. She, she, yeah, know. anyone anyone that knows <laughs> Jasmine girl. knows that that she puts on a party well. So, Absolutely. so it's really a good time. And um, and you know, people are going to go to dinner, right? So why go somewhere exactly. else? Exactly. Uh, have a cocktail, then you have to drive. This is all right in the same building. Love it. We escort them to the lobby when it's time. They get to their seats, and everybody's happy. I like that. Or people like want to eat later and after the show some right. things aren't you know things Absolutely. are already closing up so this gives you a full evening i love that idea so we kind of abandoned it for a little while yeah. um we have a new dean at the pack now and she's amazing she's she's from the east coast so okay. we're friends immediately right wonderful <laughs> and uh so we're going to continue the pre-show dinners uh they do sell out quickly because we do have limited space at times mm-hmm. And the next one is going to be the Beach Boys, but we'll talk about that. I was just going to ask you, what's the big show coming up? 
Well, I'd say obviously this this winter we've got a lot happening, um, but the Beach Boys is certainly the the one with the big name recognition. Absolutely. It, okay, I have to ask. This is not a uh, like at the the. Yeah. The concerts at the park. This is the real Beach Boys. Yes, it the, is wow. indeed. These are the guys wow. that are that are imitation or no. a, Okay, we're God. gonna have so fun, the, fun, fun, fun. Yeah, All right. These are the real guys, and and we're excited about it. And and that show is is pretty much, if not completely, sold out. Unfortunately, imagine. but fortunately, unfortunately, but. You know, we are excited to have such a huge act come through Santa Clarita, and that's really, you know, what we're all about is just making sure that the community is able to see stuff without having to drive to Thank you. L.A. or <laughs> park in the, you know, layered parking at the Hollywood Bowl. So, Absolutely. you know, we're, we're just... You know, that's the really exciting thing that we're we've on got the map. If up. you can bring in yeah. big names like the Beach Boys, Rick Sprinkler, I mean, you're, we're on the map here, and we can have the same level of quality of performing artists as they do there. Yeah, right absolutely. in your own backyard. Right in your own backyard. You've got to love that. Parking is easy and free. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a and, big deal. And you guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know at the beginning of the season, you guys offer packages so you can pick a variety of shows by the same mm-hmm. seat or by. Yeah. seats for multiple shows ahead, you make it easy for people here in the community to s- enjoy some amazing entertainment. No, that's exactly true. I mean, so, you know, anybody that buys three or more of our COC Presents shows, which are our big professional shows right. like these ones we talked about, you get to pick your own seats. We'll, you know, we'll help you out, you know, with, with doing that, and, and you get a discount. So, I mean, so you save anywhere from 10 to 20% on your tickets. So Wonderful. it's it's really um, – a, a great option, and if you know you don't, you know you don't have to. You know, we want to make sure people know that there's uh, there are options right here in town, and that's really what we're what we're looking to to get in everyone's ear about. So, and you know, well, when you- the brochure comes out, if people really want to see a show, I would encourage them to buy your tickets when as you see you them see because it. you get to pick the whatever seat you want. And mm-hmm. now there aren't any bad seats in the house. Honestly, I've been up, down, balcony, wherever. But if you want to be picky and you want to be in the front row, in, you're going to yeah, have to buy those tickets. If you want that aisle, if you want the dead Absolutely. center, you need to do it up yes, front. Yes, totally. It makes sense. That's, yeah. So that we're coming into the holidays. Talk about the other big shows that you have on tap for the second half of the season. I mean, so with the holidays coming up, we're we're really excited. We've got two just basically just that are holiday shows for four families here, and that's love that. The first one is Charlie Brown Christmas, um, and we are we are very excited to have this. It's a live action stage show, so it's not you know it's not the mascots with the big fuzzy heads. It's oh. it's actors, and they, they're 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 doing Charlie Brown. It's sanctioned by. By peanuts, by the whole thing. So wow. we've got, you know, they're they're out there marketing this show as well for us, and it's really um, it's really going to be a lot of fun for families, and it's really a tradition. You know, you can everyone remembers sitting down and watching Charlie Brown, and and it's just part of the holidays. It feels like one of those bucket you know checklist things that you've got to do every every holiday season. So. You and know, that particular show is on December eighteenth. Now I know some of the kids are still you. in school. But it's a great week to do something with the grandchildren, the children, because that's the week they get antsy, right? Mm -hmm. The holidays. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. So it's a great idea. Just give them this gift of a a live theater performance. And, you know, we grew up with Charlie Brown, right? So who doesn't know who the Peanuts character is? Absolutely. (laughs) My my 30-year-old nephew still has a a Charlie Brown Christmas tree he puts out every year. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So that and and the thing that obviously we love is it's a family-friendly performance you can bring the littles you can bring grandma grandpa you guys are wheelchair accessible absolutely every every seat is a good seat every seat Uh, of course you need to get your seats early don't wait till the last minute especially if you're buying multiple tickets you want to all sit together Mm -hmm. charlie brown's a great one then you have one that i know i think i've heard of before but you absolutely well, please explain. What is Llama Llama? <laughs> so, well, well, I, I consider myself I somewhat. Because I don't anymore, so I, I He's don't a Llama Llama expert. So, He's young children. Got young. I've got, yeah, I've got two young ones with a third on the way. So it's oh. like I, I definitely consider myself the the voice of, of the children in the, so, so for good or bad. So, you yeah. You had getting that one on the, on the yeah. roster. I'm not, not saying I, I'm yeah. a child, but I, I'm the voice of the kids in the in the meetings and such. And, and with that, I mean, Llama Llama is a big, is a big thing. They they started with like books, like kids' books, and Llama Llama, you know, 
doing all kinds of different things. It's a, it's a little little kid who's a llama and his mom, and and they go on a, you know different adventures and they learn about just daily life really, and and so that became a Netflix TV show. Ooh. Um, Mama Llama, which, you know, I didn't come up with the names. It's great, great stuff. (laughs) Rhymes, um, you know, voiced by Jennifer Garner on the Netflix show, you know, so it's a really, it really is popular, especially with the young kids. And so Llama Llama is coming to stage and, and, you know, we're really excited to have that coming up. It should be this real performers or costumed performers? again real performers okay. so so the the exciting thing is is that we've got these actors who are coming in and, and again this is a professional show they travel all over the country so wow. so this isn't just you know you know we're not you know just pulling people off of the you know off of the heap here it's real it's real live people that are traveling around all over so it's really going to be exciting it's a fun show for the kids and when is that one february 9th so that for my birthday. Well, there you go. Oh, it's, we'll it's, remember it's, that. It's, but it's a, you know, the Llama Llama Live show. There's also a dinosaur show, which we'll talk about later. You know, if if you don't know what to get the the children for Christmas, they make great Christmas so presents because Jasmine. they recognize the cartoon character. Yeah, they know they who read these the books. books they or read had the, the books, books. Read to them. Yeah. and to give them that as a Christmas present is something that they can look forward oh, to after that. the candy and the toys wear off. What a great idea! You're a grandmother. You can see. <laughs> I'm a grandma. Well, see I got a four year old and a two year old. I well, love it. I love it. The one thing I'll say too, coming from a parent's perspective, is that you know my house is literally. I cannot walk without stepping on some type of toy or thing that will hurt my foot in some way. It's the, you know, every parent wants to declutter and get rid of toys. Mm -hmm. Um, And for me, experiences are things that they'll remember forever. Whereas, you know, the toy that we bought um, just two days ago, it's it's now in a heap with 25 other toys and it's never going to get looked at again. So with these types of, um, it's a great, like Jasmine said, it's just a great gift idea because you're going to be able to go back and say, Hey, do you remember when we went and saw, you know, Llama Llama or Dinosaur World Live? Mm -hmm. And they're going to remember that. And that's, you know, they're not going to remember the, you know, the eighth stuffed dog toy that they got, you know, that Christmas. So, so that's kind of the, the, the neat thing about that giving experiences, which we like to do. That's what my son is getting tickets to take his children to a live show. Good. I I think that is lovely. That's a great grandma gift. And (laughs) for the adults, hello, Travis Tread, country fans. I was going to say, you've got to have some country on the ticket. Always. That's that's important, right? Santa Clarita means country, right? Oh, that's, yep, absolutely. And again, with his show, we're going to do a pre-show perk, which is a dinner. We're going to do it in the upper lobby of the pack, so it is limited seating. I think we're going to do about 50 people there. So get those tickets early if you want them, because they they will close out pretty quickly. And that one is what day? That's on Tuesday, February 18th at 7.30. So it is a work day, but you can come to the pack, have dinner, enjoy your show. You're good. Yeah. It's a great night. Absolutely. Anything else show-wise we want to talk about? Ooh. I mean, so I think since the last time I was on, there was one thing that that you you were trying to get out of me, and and I couldn't I couldn't oh, let the yeah. cat out of the bag. Couldn't let the cat out of the bag. Was, tell, tell, tell. Which is our special guest. Which everyone if he who says he can't tell it today. I'm gonna... Oh, I can, I can. <laughs> That's the good news is that the the special guest has been revealed. Um, and it's actually a, a, a group that we had in 2016 at the pack, um, and they're coming back. Uh, it's Pink Martini, and they're they're kind of I mean. It's it's so hard to explain exactly what what their musical style is because it's got it's got everything, but we can't ever announce them with the rest of the season because they're always at the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, I see. Which I see. which is like, you know what? We'll let it slide. You guys are a big deal. We get it. You know, we'll 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 go ahead and push it back until 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 your your show there is done, and that's mm-hmm. what we did. So we couldn't announce it then. We announce it now. And and we're really excited to have Pink Martini back because they are world known for their. I mean, it's like jazz. It's it's kind of it's it's not just jazz. I mean, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a mixture it's of pop and jazz and and it's eclectic. eclectic. It's it's, it's, it's really world amazing. music. I mean, it's Beautiful. literally everything. Big that, orchestra that you, with them. Oh, really? I mean, just absolutely a gorgeous. So, show. is it safe to say that if someone has not ever been to the pack and they want an absolute one of a kind experience, they should go see Pink Martini on March? 
10. 10. At 7.30. It's, that is the special guest. If you still have your brochure from the Performing Arts Center that comes in the mail and you see the page that says special guest, that's who we're talking about. Yep, yep. And, and we're really excited to have them back. They are Wonderful. just – their popularity is just – going upward and, and we're excited that we can have them back for a second time very cool so. and then I, I just out the corner of my eye I saw red hot chili peppers except, an, except they're the pipers the not pipers the peppers. okay so I can't read without my glasses <laughs> that. you know what we were afraid when we booked this that people would call and say oh the red hot chili peppers so but Tell they've done well them. they've done absolutely well they're so, so they're 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 a band from from Scotland. Uh, mm. So they they actually have performed at numerous big events in Europe, especially um, like you know like you know like we have our Super Bowl. They performed, I believe, at like you know like big soccer the events. Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they're really well known out there. And they're just, I mean, so like picture a band of all these Scottish guys who wear their kilts on oh, stage, cool. I and love they that. and they play and they play like like covers of like classic rock they play acdc but on the bagpipes cool. they play you know Coldplay. play they, they do cold play songs they, yeah cold play i mean they do everything it's not just pipes it's got drums it, and it. music and, and all another that another one of a kind event if Absolutely. you've not been to the pack that might be one to put on your list and that comes up what day that's on april 4th april at 8 p.m 4th. which is a saturday mm-hmm. but they're a legit rock band i mean they're gonna they're probably the the sneaky they're the one I think I'm most excited to see this year because oh, they're right. they're gonna get the place rocking. It's it's they're not they're not low energy. <laughs> from, well, and so. I know that there are people out there that have seen uh, Black Violin come to the pack, oh, and yeah. they've also seen the two cellos. Well, oh, yes. it's kind of a mixture of all of that with drums and guitars and everything else. Very cool. It, they're amazing. Okay. Really. Uh, I got a whole bunch of them I want to put on my list. I better start looking to see if there's any tickets left over. And that's the key, I think, from a conversation that we've had so far. If you haven't gotten tickets to any of these and you want to go, don't hesitate. Go online. How's the best way for them to get tickets? Yeah, absolutely. So it's going uh, online is always the easiest because you can select your own seats. That's and, uh, www. W, uh, canyonspack.com. So canyons with an S, like College of the Canyons. Mm-hmm. Canyonspack.com. And right there you'll see a, a link to shows, and you can pick whatever shows. And it's not just, you know, the, the, the shows that we've been talking about, not just the, the, the big shows of people sure. you've heard of. We've got jazz. We've got, we've got um, our, our musical, our, our theater department puts on. We've got theater. We've got music. We've got dance. We've got everything. So we it's not just everything. these. Those are the arts on campus shows that people are just loving. We will talk about that and more in the next segment with College of the Canyons and the Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center. But right now we need to take a quick break on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Don't go away. The best live theater can be found right here in the Santa Clarita Valley. The Canyon Theater Guild has been entertaining audiences for decades with top quality musicals and plays. Located on Main Street in Old Town Newhall, CTG also offers workshops for the young actor in your family. For more information, call the box office at 799-2702 or go online to canyontheater.org. The magic of the Christmas season comes to life on stage with Santa Clarita Ballet's production of The Nutcracker. This captivating and thoroughly entertaining holiday classic performed by Santa Clarita Ballet features characters that delight audiences. Travel with Marie and her Nutcracker to the Land of Sweets where she meets the Sugar Plum Fairy. Performances run Friday, December 13th through Sunday, December 15th at Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center at COC. Call 251-0366 or visit santaclaritaballet.net. Your building sign is essential to getting customers to your location. Feathers can help you get your business noticed. Feathers, now in a new larger space with plenty of parking. They walk you through each phase of your project with special attention to detail and quality. Feathers will provide you with a sign that you can be proud of. Your sign will draw customers in instead of having them drive by. Visit Feathers online at feathersigns.com or go to Feathers' brand new bigger location at 26017 Huntington Drive off Rye Canyon or call 298-9442. Comfort Keepers provides your loved one with loving in-home care. 
Miles McNamara, certified senior advisor and owner of Comfort Keepers in-home care. Our caregivers can help you in your own home, enhancing independence, creating safety and comfort. Our Comfort Keepers provide companionship, meal preparation, medication reminders, assistance with personal care, and even transportation to doctor's appointments. If someone you love can use a helping hand at home, visit comfortkeepers.com. Or call 287-4200. Hometown, your hometown station. This is the Nonprofit Spotlight Show with Janice Janice Murray. Murray. We are back on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. I am Janice Murray. We are here by way of KHTS Radio on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. I am really excited to get to talk with College of the Canyons, Jasmine Foster, who is the Director of Community Relations, and Will Murphy, who is the um, box office manager at the Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center. Lots of exciting stuff going on there. Just quickly, you mentioned, Jasmine, that there's a new Dean of Visual and Performing Arts at College of the Canyons. You want to tell me just a little bit about her and how that affects the Performing Arts Center? There is. Her name is Jennifer Smolos. Oh, she is and new. She's the new dean of the School of Fine and Performing Arts. She comes to us from New York. She has an amazing artistical background. She's young. She's energetic. She she just Wonderful. loves what she's doing. She loves Wonderful. the college. And can we get her on next year? We can. I was Good. going to bring her today, Good. but it was a little too soon. She's not up to speed. That's with okay. She'll that we're be doing, perfect for next year's well, show. Absolutely. <laughs> we're going to bring her. You're going to love her. And I will. We're so happy to have her. I'm just. I'm so excited. Good. I'm really excited. She, Good. She wants to try new things, and she wants to get out and meet the community and all the people that are supporting them. Well, as long as she's working with you and Will, she'll. <laughs> (laughs) you'll get the right mix of what we want here in the community because you guys have been doing an amazing job bringing us that quality and that level of of entertainment so you want to talk jasmine about arts um on campus on campus and that is something that i've kind of sneaked on to campus and gotten wind of and, and experienced some different little exhibits so tell me what's going on with that right now you know there's a a dedicated section of the pack brochure that is for arts on stage and it is the school of fine and performing arts there's theater there's jazz band there's dance there's uh, uh so many of them symphony of the canyons so there's and they put on all their shows throughout the year they're just mm-hmm. not starting now they they're intermittent they start when the school system starts and uh, they go all the way through the end of the year so when you say you can buy tickets not just to this these big shows that we talked about in the last segment you can buy tickets to these events as well absolutely love it yeah and and I'll say that you know it's it, these are actually I mean it's twelve dollars for an adult to come see um, you know our our jazz band which is fantastic $12. they are I mean they are unbelievable, and you can get a full night for for you for twelve dollars. Wow! I mean, and that's and same <laughs> with our theater department. You can see our our spring musical Pippin for twelve bucks, wow. and that you know that's just something to. Yeah, there's something for everyone, and that's really the exciting part is that we have so much going on. It's not just the ten to twelve big shows we have every year. The pack is we host. Like a hundred, a hundred events years. every every <laughs> yeah every busy. year. Love so love that, love that. Yeah, so it's a really fun and 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 good way for the community to just come on, and it's it's easy. We make it easy. It's fun. It's the campus is beautiful. Exactly. The the theater, the the pack is always just a beautiful venue to do, to go and experience. It if you live in Santa Clarita, there's certain things I think that just. You need to go and check out and support. And uh, the PAC, College of the Canyons, I've gone to, taking classes there. My kids are taking classes there. I think everybody benefits when when we, you know, take part in these things that you guys are offering. You're offering it to the community for a reason, and it's always amazing. So the best way for people to buy tickets is to go online. Yep, www.canyonspac.com. You know, we're always – that's open 24 hours a day. So, mm-hmm. obviously, you can get your and tickets you anytime. And you have a little visual of the theater so you can see where your seats are. Exactly. So, once you select which show you want, it'll pop up a th- uh, what's available mm-hmm. for you as far as where the seats are. For a lot of our student shows, a lot of the, the shows that we've talked about in the arts on campus, it's general admission. So, you don't have to worry about a seat because every seat – like we said, it's, a good it's, seat. All, it's all orchestra. You're all downstairs. Everything is good, and that's really and, – and you get the, the pleasure of seeing some of, some of our amazing students who are, you know – Talented beyond. Aspiring to be, to, be, to be 
you know, on Broadway, aspiring Absolutely. to be, you know, on stage at the Hollywood Bowl. So, and what an opportunity for them to experience performing on a stage of this caliber in front of a live audience. That's that's amazing. I mean, exactly. I mean, if it's good enough for Rick Springfield, it's good enough for our <laughs> students. That. You know, that's. I, I mean, that. I mean, you know, and that's and that's that's the exciting thing too. You're I right. I put that on my resume. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, oh, wait a minute. Turn that back. What'd you say? Little mermaid. You guys have. <laughs> Any community shows. These, these, are, com- are, these are community shows, and they, they, these uh, different theater productions actually rent out the, the venue, and they bring Something their shows for there. for everybody. Because they're able to have an all-inclusive, free parking, mm-hmm. dressing room, soundstage, everything done for them, and they can put on the most amazing shows. Again, all these different levels of quality of theater or performances of entertainment <laughs> For us to enjoy. Absolutely. If, Love it. If there isn't something there, you're just not looking. <laughs> Thank you. You can't. I know people always said, you know, my kids say there's nothing to do in Santa Clarita. You aren't looking. Is there right. is something oh going my gosh. on every all night. the time. Every for night. For every person's level of interest. You it, know, it's interesting. I took my children there when they, they were growing up. I mean, me they're, too. they're all out of college now, but I had to take them kicking and screaming. <laughs> and then after the show, well, Mom, why haven't you ever taken me here before? Exactly. <laughs> I tried. Duh, because I had to take you kicking and screaming. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you guys make it affordable to take a family out now. So, and there's something for everybody, everybody's interest levels. Anything else specific that we want to talk about or bring some exposure to? Well, maybe I can talk a little bit about our Patrons of the Arts. Of and this is a, a, a group of philanthropic people that donate to the college, which does help um, the theater program mm-hmm. at the school. And one of the reasons the pre-show dinners was initially instituted was to try and grow that group. Okay. But I will make everyone one promise. I will not ask you for money at the dinner. <laughs> at the <laughs> dinner. dinner. She you said can go at to. the dinner. <laughs> I got it. I will not do that. No. Now, how do you become a patron of the arts? Well, you can call our foundation at 362-3737. 362-3737. And uh, they'll be happy to help you out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, again, you know, there are perks associated with becoming a member. And um, I think when that brochure hits your mailbox, take a really good look at it. We're working on next season now. Already? Oh, yeah. It's never too early. Will, you're a busy man. (laughs) Making them phone calls, right? Trying to get commitments. Yeah, there's (laughs) there's there's never any stopping. And that's the exciting part is that, you know, when we when we look at our season right now, we're so excited at already what's happened, mm-hmm. and like and basically you're you're hitting kind of the December, and you're like, man, this is getting getting you know getting crazy here, and then all of a sudden you're like, but let's start looking at next year and seeing what amazing things we can bring in. And your season is not a year; it's not a January to December season. Your season is what? Oh, we're booking 2021. <laughs> yeah. and looking Wait, we at haven't 22. lived 2020 yet, I know, Jasmine. We're looking at 22 because some of the artists, you know, that you yeah. have to be that far out in order to get yeah. them. Cool. But I, I do want to also mention the patrons of the arts. That's great. And thank you to our sponsors who also help us bring these fabulous shows to the pack, but most especially to KHTS. I know them. Great partners. You know them. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Amazing partners. They're amazing partners. Their their thumb on the pulse of the community in every way and supporting and sponsoring. You've got to love it. So thank you to KHTS, absolutely, for all their support and help. Like I had something to do with it. (laughs) (laughs) Love that. We are here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. We've been talking with the College of the Canyons, Jasmine Foster. And Will Murphy from the Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center. Anything else exciting that we want to let our listeners know? There's still opportunity to get single tickets for shows. Oh, absolutely. Always. And I, and, and I mean, and that's the thing is that if you're, if you're having trouble, if you're, you know, like I, some people aren't quite as computer savvy as others, you can always call our box office too. And we've got dedicated people, um, 10 to 5 uh, – at our box office every single Monday through Friday, and we're happy to test help. Your, test your knowledge. What's the number? 362-661 area code, uh-huh. 362-5304. All right. You and, passed. Oh, I, I, I better. I've been working there long enough. But, <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's one of those things where we're, we're happy to help at the box office. And if you have questions about – what seats th- better? What seats worse? I mean, we're not, I want to talk to somebody. You know, I just we, don't know. <laughs> I like, we will give you our, our honest advice on what to what what we think is best, and that's the really the the nice thing is when you're talking to a person. A lot of times these days, you know, when you're buying tickets, you're on the website, and 
you have a question and, yeah. you, and there's no one to answer it. 1-800-TICKETMASTER is not going to cut it. So, you know, you call our box office and you'll get a real person that will help you out. I love that. And you guys have some amazing docents and amazing volunteers that work there, some of my good friends. And we want to thank them for doing the jobs that they do to keep us informed and, and to keep, you know, the evening to, to help ensure that we have a wonderful evening when we come to the performances. It's Absolutely. Every time I've ever been to the pack, I have walked away smiling, happy, and thrilled to death that I've chosen whatever it is, the event or the performance that I've chosen. Well, so we're going to see you there real soon again, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. What we got coming up? <laughs> What's next? <laughs> Well, you know, the Stunt Dog Experience, which is a fabulous family show. You bring the grandbabies to that one. I am one. going to bring the grandbabies. They're amazing. They really are. They're, are they sold out? They're sold out, they, No, we're not sold out, but okay. we, we are we are running low on tickets for Stunt oh, Dogs. Okay. We have them. We and have them. So. Actually, Ma, you know, I'm staying at Janice and Lynn's. Yes. Molly was the Stunt Dog when I got in last she, night. She, oh, she was bet. the Stunt Dog last Glad night. Glad to, to see in you. In the backyard. Huh? Glad Little to company. see you. I yeah, love so that. I've, I've had that experience. And two other things. Two other things. Sure. A few people know that we have a fabulous art gallery on the campus, which I know is it. part of the Fine and Performing Arts Division. That's and the one I sneak in and, t okay, and take a peek at every now and then. Free. I love, Come yeah. on in, take a look. She brings in shows every couple of months. Uh, it's some, free. Some student shows. Come take a look. It's free. She said it again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a nice walk through the campus. Absolutely. Sure. That's, I think, the thing for somebody who's not, if you don't have kids there or if you've never been, I'm always amazed. It's breathtaking that that campus is as beautiful as it is. I know you guys just finished that new parking structure on the yes. athletic field side, which is going to make all the graduations that much more, you know, easy to get to and, and to enjoy. But that campus is just beautiful. I haven't been to Canyon Country in a while. I need to make a visit over there. But every time I go to Valencia to, to the campus, I'm I know. I love it. It's really breathtaking. It. Yeah, it is. It's and our jewel here in Santa Clarita, and people know about it from all over. It's. Have you tried lunch at the Culinary School? Yes, I have. Okay, Are you kidding? so they're of up and running again every Thursday uh, afternoon. Oh, they are. <gasps> you want to have lunch? Just go on the website, make a oh. reservation. It's an amazing. Yes, it I mean, is. It's amazing. Right? Yes, it Their is. Their food is just fabulous. So it, it was. It, I went for the first time, and I'd worked there for a long time, and well, I went there for the first time, and with Jasmine, I and, took him. Like, and it was. Should've. I mean, oh my gosh! So I'm gonna it's special. I, I told my wife I'm gonna make us a reservation. I haven't yet, so I, I, I'm going to. I will without do that. the kiddos, just the two no of you. Kids. It's special. Just a, a nice, nice adult quiet, adult serene. Lunch. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Just make sure you can take a nap afterwards because <laughs> you will be full. A lot of food. A lot of food. I love when they're around in the community at events, and I, uh -huh. I just love what they offer. <laughs> they they do an amazing job. They certainly do. I, yes, I'm they very do. proud of them. They I'm, should be. They've moved around an awful lot. They've been kicked out of a few places and finally got their, their own home. building, which they totally deserved. Okay, I have to ask this. All things COC. I'm afraid. No, you know the answer. Are y'all built out there? Can we start bringing some fun? I'm, I haven't been to COC in a bit. I'm still on the advisory committee, but I don't know what's new over there. Can you guys stop building at Valencia and let us have some nice stuff in Canyon we, Country? We actually, at Valencia, we are built out. Um, we will be remodeling a building that's in desperate need. Oh, that's always, and you Canyon do that. Country has the new science building that's underway here, and are, you need to come to the meeting. I need to come okay. to the meeting. When is it? Okay. Uh, I think it's on the 18th of this month okay. and we're going to give a tour to all the community oh, cool. members that want to come it's absolutely amazing and catch you up on all the things that are going on at canyon country yeah. you know during these fires we we did sustain some damage at the canyon country campus really? yeah so our mm. early childhood oh, that's education right. Off Sierra center, highway you yeah. were in the thick of it yeah we did get some damage so we did relocate our, our children in the early childhood education center oh. they're now in valencia and oh. that building will be rebuilt for them and that a couple of modular things. right it was a modular, okay. um, and oddly enough, you know, there's Fox Feed right next door to us with all that hay, and they were perfectly fine. Isn't that bizarre? <laughs> so it's, it is so... You but know, everything's well. The campus reopened gets. today. Uh, all classes are taking Resume. place as scheduled. And Good. we closed down last week to just get everything dialed in for the students. So we're, we're thankful See, for that. No. You always know everything that's going on over there. <laughs> or you tell a good story if you don't, right? <laughs> you know I love you, I never Jasmine. say I don't know. <laughs> I'll say I'll, I'll find, find out, out for you. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the answer. I can find out. <laughs> so, so we've got about two minutes left in this segment, and I just want to throw it out there. Is there anything that our, our, our listeners need to know about? One, 
Oh, I was going to say one thing I, I'm excited about and my kids are excited about is dinosaurs. Um, and they're coming. Dinosaurs they're com- in Santa Clarita? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are we that old? Do we have <laughs> really? Yeah, picture perfect. They, Tell they, me. They are coming to, to our Performing Arts Center, uh, Dinosaur World Live, which is happening um, in the very near future, actually. It's, it's going to be, let me find the exact date, but it's going to be amazing. They have these giant dinosaurs that they bring into the pack. Real bones, touchy I mean, feely kind of stuff, or is this well, so, up a tree? Or... Yes and no. So there's no real bones, but oh. it, it, it can be touchy feely. It's okay. an interactive show. I'm so touchy and, feely. And Everybody so, knows, so, knows like, that. So, so they, they pick out people from the crowd. That they'll come up and interact with these giant like puppets, and they're Ooh, they're amazing. Cool. They really are. And so, I mean, we've had I think th- this is like three out of the last four years we've had some type of dinosaur show at the pack because very cool. Because every little kids boy love and some girls them. love dinosaurs. Love every yes. kid, every love kid them. loves dinosaurs, yes. and that's the really exciting thing. And that's happening in March, March seventh, and at and the pack, Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center, right exactly. here in Santa Clarita. My my daughter is just I'm she just cannot just wait. She's seen stoked. she's seen the last. Too, she's like she's got a season ticket for all dinosaur related things at the pack. You're so. a good daddy. <laughs> oh, try. that's cool. And I even try. With shows like that, we always have to book two because you sell them out so quickly. Because everybody wants to bring the kids. Children don't get to come. So oh. luckily, the artists are so kind enough to put on two shows, one right after the other, so everybody Love gets it. a chance. Love it. And with the family and children's shows, we have lobby activities an hour before each show to keep the kids busy oh. and involved and engaged. You and think of everything. We just want them to have a good time. Absolutely. We are here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. We are here by way of KHTS Radio on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Let's take a quick break. Come back and wrap up our show. Don't go away. If you find yourself in an issue with the IRS and they're threatening you or you can't sleep at night, remember this name, Anthem Tax Services. Within two months, they save me $25,000. If you are a small business owner or self-employed and owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, call Anthem Tax Services today, 866-630-2694. We have saved millions of dollars in tax debt, and our goal is to reduce your tax debt to as little as possible. Call 866-630-2694. We are confident enough in our services to offer a 100% money-back guarantee if we can't put you in a better position than where you started. Call for a free consultation, and we'll also take care of your tax case study for free, saving you hundreds of dollars. Call 866-630-2694. Anthem Tax Services, the trusted name in tax resolution. 866-630-2694. 866-630-2694. This is Jeremy Steppen, owner of Resurgence IT. With cyber threats coming at us from all directions, how can you protect yourself and your company? Coming up Wednesday, November 6th, we are hosting a cybersecurity event focused on executives and upper management. This event has one purpose, which is a call to action to prioritize cybersecurity for your business. The event runs from 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. and will include breakfast, leading industry speakers, and a practical knowledge you can take with you to protect your business. Take control of your IT before it takes control of you. Be on the lookout for more information on ResurgenceIT.com. We all know sometimes people lose their way. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, the Way Out Recovery SCV may have the answers you've been waiting for. The Way Out is the premier intensive outpatient treatment center serving Santa Clarita. Asking for help is the first step. Call the Way Out today, 661-296-4444. That's 296-4444 for a private free assessment. The Way Out is an accredited affordable outpatient program that accepts most insurance. Call us at 661-296-4444 or check us out online at thewayoutrecoveryscv.com. Quit battling with yourself. Ask The Way Out for help today. Your hometown station, KHTS. This is the Nonprofit Spotlight Show with Janice Janice Murray. We are back on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. I am Janice Murray. It has been so exciting to have you guys here, Jasmine Foster, who is the the Director of Community Relations at College of the Canyons, Will Murphy, who is the Manager of Ticketing and Patron Services over at Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center. We talked all things at Valencia campus and Jasmine I appreciate you satisfying my curiosity and allowing us to talk a little bit about 
Canyon Country Campus. They are not the redheaded stepchild. They have just as many services and facilities and opportunities there for learning and experiencing. And I, uh, I apologize, I haven't been there in a couple of months. What's new? Oh my gosh, there's so many things new going on there. It's an amazing campus, like you said. It is. You know, it's a beautiful it's not, it's setting. Not, you know, we, we thought in 10 years we'd have 5,000 students there. Well, that happened within the first two years. No, I know, I know and, what we're thinking. Uh, you know, they are in modulars, but building is going on. There's sure. an amazing science center that's in construction right now. I have to go it's see. It's going to have some beautiful labs and classrooms and staff offices and faculty offices and also um, a performance venue there, too. Cool. So who knows what will happen with that. But yeah. um, we do invite the community in to sit on our advisory meetings and give us their opinions. We want them to come in. We want mm. people to use the campus and see it. Sure. Um, it. It's just amazing things going on there. And our next advisory meeting is on November 18th. It's a bit of a thank you for those who have served on the advisory board all these years and helped us, you know, figure out what everybody wants. But, you know, tours are available. If you want to just drive through and see what's going on and have someone walk you through and talk to you about the amazing classes, we're happy to do that. And, uh, you know, most of the students that take classes in Valencia are also taking, taking classes at Canyon Country because they just work it into their schedule. It's nice. It works that you could get everything done between the two campuses. Obviously, you can get everything done at Valencia. You can Absolutely. get everything done at Canyon Country. But sometimes when schedule conflicts or a class is full at one campus, you can always check out the other. Yeah, That's or they'll pick up a class during the summer session or That's winter session. That's what my session. kids did. See? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There's no reason not to go to school anymore. You, you know, there's they it so it easy, so, so affordable. And it's all there. Absolutely. But thank you for letting us come and talk about the college and specifically the Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center. We Absolutely. Please call Will at the box office. He's there to help us all. And Will, if you don't see something. Did you give me your number? Is it 661-362-5304? That's that, the that, one. Yep, that's how you get a hold of me and uh, or, or my staff who are who are students themselves. And they're, they're, they're there at, at COC doing getting their associate's degrees and getting ready to move on to their next their next uh, step in life. But they're ready to help you as well. They're learning how to how to help you as a customer and, 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 that's, and, a, and a that's person. So a, a life skill in any business that, you know, customer care, customer support, customer service is huge. Not everybody has the nature for it. It's it's how to deal with people it in is. general, and that's it and is. that is a lesson that if you can if you can learn how to do that, you're you're you're, you're doing golden. exactly. It really helps. And so my my great staff, my my students are all and my and my my um, just regular employees that we're all there to help, and we want to make sure your experience is great. I mean, we don't we want to make sure you leave with a smile on your face, and that's absolutely at the end of the day. You know, if we don't do that, give me a call. I want to hear about it. So I have a question. At some point in the year, you guys send out that beautiful full-color brochure of all the performances that are coming in the new season. When is the next one coming? Oh, boy. Well, the Public Information Office publishes that, okay. and we start working on it, actually, in February. Wow. Because we have to have everyone's information and dial it through sure. and get it approved and all of that. The professional shows are being booked by our managing director right now, mm -hmm. so that's in the works. It's always a little bit of a challenge getting the student performances in on time because oftentimes it depends on enrollment in that particular oh, sure. class you sure. know they want to do a particular show and they didn't get the enrollment in that particular class so we tend to be a little bit shy about that so that information usually comes to us uh, a little bit late um, we like to have the brochure at the printers in no later than may early mm -hmm. may if we mm -hmm. can and when did we release this one? It came out late June. Jeez, yeah, so so we this one came out. I think I think actually early June because we were on sale in, in mid June. So okay, it, it's you know it, it's and and you know one one thing I will say is follow follow us on. And see, on that's your, my next question. You if go. you didn't get last the the current season's brochure in the mail for some odd reason is there anywhere to get a hard copy absolutely yeah. jasmine brought me one and i'm going to keep it with me <laughs> um but it, 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 they can get they can get it online they absolutely. absolutely so all our shows are listed on our website which Perfect. is canyonspac.com 
Um, but another, you know, there's a lot of options. So you can come by the box office in person if you want to get a, a hard copy in your hands right Some away. Some people like that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, follow us on social media. If you've got Facebook, if you've got Twitter, if you've got Instagram, we're on all of those. And we're I Santa Claus. I Instagram. I'll yeah. have to do that. I've oh. got you on the other two. So... Yeah. Uh, in addition to putting on these great shows, we've got arguably uh, the most the most beautiful building at College yes, of the Canyons, yes, and so yes, you do. so we post a lot of awesome pictures of, of of the inside of the pack. We post obviously information about our shows, and I mean it's exciting because we can share the visual side of the pack with people. But um, I mean, even still, you know, follow us on on our social media, and you'll hear about hear about shows. We're not we're not overkill. We don't we don't. We're not going to blow up your feed, but we're going to definitely, we're definitely going to let you guys know about what's going on, and 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 you know we have our events pages that have all of our events on them. So, social media is a great place to keep and keep up to the, date. The, it's the current generation. That's how they live. That's oh, where absolutely. they live. So that's good to know because I don't know. Um, if we can wait until next June to know what's going on, but if we're <laughs> on Facebook or if we're on Instagram, guaranteed we know what's current. Exactly. Well, you we'll, guys. we'll be back in May to announce the season with you as we normally oh, do, I'm so you'll be the first yeah. to know. <laughs> I'm going to send it. I think you're going to have two opportunities to come talk with us next year. We're like changing that. a little bit. I like that. The format, and, and, and we're going we're gonna to reach out and, and to our nonprofits so that we can get next year's calendar for the nonprofit spotlight set. Perfect. So I always enjoy having you guys here here we've got somewhere near eight minutes is there anything else that we want to talk about or or Um, not i think we've pretty much covered a lot of the territory here you know the pack is also used for scholarly presentations we do what's that uh, well the scholarly presentation is put on by our students okay moderated by our faculty staff and they sometimes you know depending on the subject matter some can be controversial Mm -hmm. some are informative um, one that I went to not too long ago was just so super. It was about cancer and how it grows oh. in your body. And our oh, faculty, who are physicians that. and MDs and psychologists, uh, they brought it down to the human level. Because nice. oftentimes when you talk to these doctors in their office, you know, yes. they're, they're way above your head. And you want to record it to look up half the words later. You but need to. Just, they, they, <laughs> or they, Google they, while you're sitting there, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> they humanized what was going on and allowed you to understand it. And it was at a time where my dad had just been diagnosed, which is why I went to the, the oh. presentation. And it really took a lot of the fears and anxieties out of it. So the scholarly presentations, we have one every year, yeah. right? Yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, I know last year we had a great one on, on Pompeii, mm-hmm. which was like we were we were getting calls at the box office nonstop about it. And, they, really? and we were just like, guess what? It's free. You guys don't have to worry about, you know, paying for tickets or doing anything wow. like that. Tell them about um, this one. This, this year in April, we're doing one on juvenile justice. Um, so, you know, we have we have some professors that come in. And talk about, you know, basically analyze the psychological and, and the, the, you know, the kind of what's going on in, in, in the minds um, in, in basically for, for, for people. I think that I, I haven't done a whole lot of, like, full-on research. They're the ones that do it. But they really to how they stand trial as adults and what that does and kind mm. of it's a really, you know, they really dig deep into a lot of these things. It's not just like turning on a on a you know, show on Netflix and, and get in your 30 minute, you know, here, this is that <clears throat> you have actual professors and actual, you know, leaders in the field here. And they, that's what college of the canyons provides in addition to all the great, you know, classes and, and opportunities there. It's it, continual we, education and exposure to timely topics. And I, I didn't realize exactly. that happens once a year. That's wonderful. And it's, so. and it's for the community. It's not just free. for students. It's free for it's the community. Free. So like I said, I mean, last year I, I just, I was blown away with how many people were calling us wanting to, to, to figure out how they can get tickets for the Pompeii thing. And I was like, listen, just go. it's free. <laughs> Show up. We're going to have room for you. Mm-hmm. And, and it's the same with this one. And, and same with, you know, look on our website check out what we have going on and and it's all there you know we you know as much as we love when people call our box office and ask us to list every single show off (laughs) and i I, on the web (laughs) you'd be amazed at how often that happens you know we actually we're like you know we could do that and i have nothing to do for the next hour and a half (laughs) right exactly but you know what what you can also do is go on the website check it out on your on your own and see what you know you know yourself or come come visit us and pick up this beautiful brochure that you all spent lots of money on to put out in the community 
to expose us to what everything that's going on in the season. I, there's so much. I'm so grateful that you gave me one of these because I don't know where mine went. Absolutely. You know? And, you know, when the brochure does go out, we do a total saturation in the community. Mm-hmm. I think it's 220,000 yeah. uh, really? households that it goes out to. And that first week that it hits the uh, mailboxes, it's really busy on That's campus. That's the week that you need to look in it. <laughs> That's the week. Pick the, pick your, make your choices. Pick the shows you want to see and make a call and book those tickets before it gets crazy. Because I'm learning with a lot of our nonprofits, these events are getting sold out. Two nonprofits already that I've talked to recently, their events were sold out before the ev- I mean, like, we just interviewed them and f- Monday and Friday – it's sold out. Don't we have the most amazing we supporters do, in this community? We do, it's and just, something for everyone's interest level. Yes, absolutely. So don't wait. I know some people are notorious, and things happen, as we mentioned. You know, things happen in our worlds and in our lives. But if you can avoid that and do it early, book your ticket so you get to maximize your in- enjoyment and your entertainment opportunity. And that's exactly – I mean, I would definitely say that as the person that, that, that has to – to break the hearts of people who want to see <laughs> see these shows that are sold out. I mean, I, I've always been the guy that arrives at the airport three hours early for his flight instead of 20 minutes early. Yeah, um, there's because, a reason for that. Because, you know, I'll find a nice <laughs> restaurant. I'll relax a little bit where, you know, if, so you, if you get it early, you know, you are set. And that's – you get – you want front row tickets for the Beach Boys. You could have gotten them in, 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 in June, you know? And, it, but correct me if I'm wrong, you said if you book three or more shows, there's a 10 to 20 percent discount. Exactly. Across Across the board on those shows. Season ticket holders get the opportunity to pick the seats, pick the shows throughout yep. the season. Exactly. Uh, you know. Get, get, get the brochure. Look through it. Take a pen. <laughs> circle the ones you want. And like then... we used to do with the Sears Christmas book. Exactly. Circle the ones exactly. you want. Sure. <laughs> Give it to honey and, and tell them these are the ones. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Once Grandma, you... great idea about the kids' shows. Yep. That's great Christmas gifts. If you've got Gotta grandkids or if you've got kids and you're looking for something outside the box – they don't need another toy. They don't need, you know, s- those kinds of things that are just going to sit on the shelf or sitting there on the floor in their room. Give them an experience yeah. of culture, of education, of entertainment, of, you know, exposing them to art. The gift of time. So Absolutely. many people turn on the TV in here as a babysitter, you know, just spend time with them. The holidays is such a great season. They'll be talking. Your daughter will be talking about the dinosaurs and llama llama. Absolutely. Until she's in grade school. Oh, absolutely. (laughs) High school. And that's the exciting thing about it. Again, is that these are, these are life experiences that they'll have and they'll remember this when they're, you know, when when I'm standing up at, you know, listening to her talk at her wedding, for example, she'll be like, you know, my yeah, dad took me to the dinosaur <laughs> show and it made me marry this paleontologist. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. But like at the I end of the day, help. but you just never know. But that's what it is. It's you're you're, you're providing your, you know, learning. They're going to learn something at that dinosaur sure. show. They're going to they're going to enjoy themselves at Llama Llama. And it's going to be. Uh, these are all quality places where they're going to learn life lessons and through and the actors. It's great. I mean, it's and great. And who doesn't love the tradition of Christmas and Charlie Brown? Exactly. Come on. exactly. You know? So this is the place to make memories, to enjoy your family and your friends yes. get together. Don't wait to the last minute. Get your tickets now. It has been such a pleasure to have you both on. Thanks. Thank you so much. Oh, and thank, thank you. you to KHTS for being such fabulous supporters. Uh, it, we just can't thank them enough. They uh, do a great job helping us and, They're there all the time. Absolutely. We are at the top of our hour. We're going to get you caught up with your national and international headlines. And I am sure I will be here next week, next month. We've always got some exciting. Tomorrow, we've got some more exciting shows to do. So stay tuned. We're here on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Have a great day.